Hello. Today I want to uh, talk to you about the idle solenoid cutoff valve on the Solex carburetor. This carburetor belongs to a Talbot Express Peugeot J5, Citroen C25 or Fiat Toccato up to uh, early 94 vintage, 1800 or 2 litre petrol. This is just a box standard carburetor. This particular one has been fitted with one of our, our new mixture adjusting screws because they tend to get bent. Uh, apart from that, it's absolutely standard. So what I want to talk to you about today is the idle fuel cutoff solenoid here. Um, there's a little plunger in here which when you turn the ignition on it energises a coil, pulls the plunger back and releases the fuel to the idle circuit. The idle circuit in this case also routes through galleries and uh, is responsible for fueling the sort of low end of the throttle as well. So when this device fails and shuts off your idle circuit the vehicle will not tick over at all. It will run still on um, mid throttle so you can still get the engine running, you still have it running but it will be running rough as hell until you open the throttles and keep it driving at quite high RPM. So you could struggle home if this failed but it would be very difficult. If you're lucky the plunger will fail jammed out, it's very very rare but it does sometimes happen, invariably it jams screwed in. Now these haven't been available for a very long time, uh, they used to cost over £50 from Peugeot but that was years ago. Um, if you're lucky you'll get one from a second hand vehicle somewhere but for how much longer we don't know and of course you don't know what condition they're in. So we need to find some way of replacing it. It simply unscrews to the left, uh, it's got flats on it there so you can put a span on if necessary, I've loosened this one already. Unscrews to the, uh, to the left, this particular one's been had some sealant put on it already. Um, that's not necessary, I'm not sure why someone's done that, it's a second hand carburetor. Anyway, you see it's come out of the, uh, of the hole in the carburetor there. Um, keep this very clean obviously when you're working on a carburetor. <laughs> this is just a demonstration, normally I'd have the whole place covered in white, white clean paper or cloths. Anyway, it's come out with the idle jet attached as well. Pull that out, simply just pushes in, pushes out, keep it nice and clean. And there we see the plunger, which when you energise it goes in. And opening up the, uh, the orifices there to let the fuel flow in those little holes on the side and come out the end. So, we need to replace that. As we can see when you put it in here it actually stands slightly proud of the body. I'm not sure if you can see that too well in the camera. So you can't just put a bolt on the end, it won't work. Also you actually need to ensure it's being held in firmly against the, uh, so you can see it again, the little tiny hole in there where the fuel flows out into the galleries. So here we have a blanking plug, it's a very unusual thread, it's made here, um, drilled. Ordinarily you'd also put an o-ring on it of course, um, but for this demonstration I'll leave the sealing washer off, the sealing o-ring off. You insert the idle jet in there, pushes on, and leave a little gap, don't have to push it all the way home, it's drilled to the correct length, but just for your own peace of mind leave a little tiny gap there, don't push it all the way home. It'll get pushed the last little bit when you screw it in so you know it's seating properly. And simply push it into the carburetor and screw it home. Now obviously it's brass, there's a reason why it's brass, that's so it doesn't uh, get over tightened and destroy the carburetor body, it's a lot easier and cheaper to replace that than it is to replace the carburetor body. That's why you often find stuff screwed into carburetors is made of brass. So if you can see that there's a very tiny gap between the bolt and the body, that was that would be filled normally with the o-ring, I've just left it off for the purposes of this demonstration. But there you go anyway, it's screwed in tight, um, the idle jet is in place, the vehicle will run normally. Um, obviously there's no fuel cutoff on, on idle now, but that's honestly that's not a problem. If we unscrew it again, you can see it's been pushed fully home. So we're comfortable that it's definitely seated properly. If you've got any thread locking compound, you might want to put a little bit on the threads when you screw it in, but with the rubber ring there that should, that should help as long as you do, do it up nicely. Nice and firmly, but obviously not over tight. Okay, that's it really. So useful to carry one of these as a spare, just in case your solenoid ever fails, um, and they'll be for sale on the website. I hope that's been of some use.